Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world of Wayne, and welcome to a brand new week. We're going to start the week with the Agora Models release of Build the Shelby Cobra, Pack 10. Now in this release we're going to be finishing the doors, we're going to be doing the windshield, we're also going to be doing the radiator, but I thought it'd be fun just to show you where we're up to so far, all the way up to Pack 9. So as you can see, we have done two doors here. One of the doors we had already installed the hinge on. We need to do that for the other one. And I believe that's where this stage starts uh, on pack 10. Uh, this is basically the main vehicle at the moment, probably best on the side camera there, what it's looking like. The chairs are installed, the belts are in, the electrics are in, the engine's in, all of the suspension's done. The only thing we haven't done is connected a steering mechanism uh, to the rack and pinion that we've got down the bottom there. Uh, but that is looking like that at the moment. We've got the dashboard looking like that here, and it has got the steering wheel attached to it, so I don't think it's going to take too much to attach that to the steering mechanism. We do have the exhaust, which we need to put down the side of the vehicle eventually. We haven't done to do that yet. We do have the trunk with the Cobra license plate on, with the hinges already on, ready to go as well. And then the last thing we've got is just the rear sections here with the speaker built into it, and the cage, or the U-shaped roll bin there and that's looking like that. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I've put the link down here to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from pack one. You'll be able to get it all the way up to the state that we're up to at the moment. But without further ado, let's get cracking. Now, as I mentioned, we are going to be starting this stage with the door hinge and the mechanism. And to start that, we've got this tiny section here, which is gonna have this tiny spring just going above the pin there, just like in the picture. Be careful of this, because this is the sort of thing where the uh, spring can pin off in all directions, but it does hold itself in there, no problems at all. Now we wanna put this whole unit here into this square base, this way round, so it's going in just like that. I'm holding it down with my finger for a second. And we're going to hold that in place with an OP15 screw. Now this is a flange screw and it's uh, very tiny, very tiny. So I'll just line that up, taking that slowly just to make sure that's in. It's bitten, so I'm just making sure that's in so I can actually turn it like that. And then I'll tighten that up. Not too tight because we still want that catch to be able to move when it's on the door. But that looks perfect. So I'm going to place that in the door, but before I do, I'm going to use my Partworks Upgrade mat here because I don't want to scratch the door. This is what that's looking like. Turn that upside down. And this whole section looking like that is just going to go onto this side just here. And it's got lugs, so we just line them up and then just push that into place. So the catch can still work there, no problems at all. We're then going to be attaching the hinge, which looks like that. We want it this way around with a longer end this side. And that's just going to go in here like that. And that's held in with two OP02 screws. So that's the first one in. I'm just putting the second one in. Again, I'm not putting them in too tight. I'm just uh, getting them lined up first. And once I'm happy with that, then I'll tighten them up completely. One and two. So that's the hinge in, working fine. And then all we need to do is just cover where the hinge is, where the screws are to hide that in with this little plate here. That's just gonna go into the lug holes that we can see there. So line that up, push it down. That's the hinge in place. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now I'm going to keep this cutting back here because stage 75 is the window shield frame. And I'm going to get this out just to show you. The frame is metal, just so you know, and it looks just like that. But we don't have to actually do anything with this in this stage, but we do have to keep it uh, safe. But uh, I love how this is metal. This is brilliant. Now stage 76, we have the left wind deflector, which looks just like that. I'm going to get this out. Now we're going to take the frame that we had from the uh, windscreen 
and we're also going to take this window which has got these little clips into the side of it now we do need to just open these up a little bit because they're going to go over i don't know if you can see that the little lugs that we've got each side of this section here now to do that definitely going to need my magnifying glasses it goes round this way that you can see here and i'm just going to line it up and put this in so that's the top one in that's fitting pretty perfect gonna do the bottom one as well you will have to just open them out a little bit with some small pliers or whatever you need to use to do that so that lines up and then when you've got it where you want it you're just going to get your same pliers tweezers here and just bite them in so that they're not going to go anywhere so that's one in that side just do the top one here that's the top one in and that's fully attached like that you can see it can move no problems at all without falling out now in an exact similar fashion we're going to do the same thing with the sun visor here so i'm just going to open them out just a touch doesn't have to be too much just like that and this is the sun visor on the side of the window going in this way here so again line it up to where it goes just holding that in with my fingers and then pushing it together with my pliers so that's one side in this is the second side which looks good and there we go that's the visor on as well and that is all there is to do in that stage Now stage 77 is exactly the same thing. We're gonna be doing the visor and the uh, wind deflector there. Uh, it's just gonna be done on the other side. So we should be an absolute dab hand at this now. I'm just gonna open these up just a touch. Bring over the windshield again, making sure I put it on the right way. That's with the flat part here at the top. line it up here so it's this way around so the hinge parts are actually on the inside when you're happy you've got it lined up squeeze together the hinges again over the lugs one there one there and there we go that's the next wind deflector in no problems at all and in a similar fashion we're just going to do that with some visor here one two one two making sure it's in the same way as the other one so they're lined up there make sure the holes where they need to be and then once again make sure they're lined up where they need to be and then push them together one so as you can see that goes up and down no problems at all and that's all there is to do in that stage Now in stage 78, we have the windshield, which is looking like that. Now this is what the windshield looks like. And all we're gonna do is take the frame here. And as you can see, we've got notches at the top. We have got two lugs at the bottom here and here. They're gonna go into the holes here and here. So to do that, what we're gonna do is just push the top end in first, make sure that's completely lined up, then line up the bottom lugs. One and two and then push that into place which is in put these wind deflectors back and the sun visors down and that is the windshield completed now i don't need a cutting mat now because we're going to be working on stage 79 which is the start of the radiator and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the radiator grill so having this this way around we're going to attach the metal mesh this is metal just so you know and that's just going to go under here just like that so i'm holding my screwdriver like a pen it's the easiest way to get these in 
line it up and then they go in pretty easy there's only one you need to put in here because the other side's just got a, like a locating lug so we put one in that side there and it's the same on the top we're going to put one in so holding it like a pen load it up and then put a screw just into the top there once you've started it off you can just screw that all the way in just like that we can put that to one side because we're going to be working uh, on the recess side of the oil cooler now which is this side here we've got another metal grill to put on that so that's just going to drop in like this and then we've got another grill here with these tabs on the side which we are going to need to bend down at 90 degrees so i'm going to use my um duckbill pliers for that because that makes a uh, very much short work of doing jobs like that as you can see and then holding that grid in place we're going to turn it over this is going to go in this side here and we're going to be putting this through the slots so that we can see there so now they should come all the way through and they should be interlocked with the grill behind it there so that's what the front looks like that's what the back looks like we're just going to fold these tabs in then and that will keep both of these parts in so that's one there two on this side the one down the bottom and then the two on that side so now that's not going anywhere this oil cooler oil cooler the oil oil cooler has now got a grill each side so with those two parts of the radiator that's all there is to do in that stage now in stage 80 we're going to be continuing to build the radiator here which means we're going to be taking the part from the last stage with the uh, grill that we put on lying it down like that we've got another part here to put over the top of it now you can see we've got a locating hole here which is going to go into that lug so this is going to go over the top like that making sure that we have got a notch hole that forms at the bottom and we're just going to hold that together with some op08 screws they come in this pack so they're quite thick one in here and just one in the other side here and then in a similar fashion to what we've just done we've got a grill to put over the top we've got two locating lugs so they're going to go on just like that the locating lugs are just here and here and once again they're going to be held in with the op16 screws which are the really tiny ones so once again i'm going to hold this like a pen it's the easiest way to control it when you've got really tiny screws start it off and then screw that all the way down so that's one and i'll do the second one which is in the opposite corner and that's screwed into place as well and there we go that's both sides of the radiator grill completed that's all there is to do in that stage now in stage 81 we're going to do the oil oil cooler mounts and the fans and the motors so this here is the mount for the oil cooler uh, and we're just going to grab that and quite simply the notch at the end here is just going to go into this hole here so it's just going to be pushed into here just like this all the way down so that they, again these tabs can fit in as well so it looks like that now for the other parts which are the motors and the fans they don't actually want us to do anything in this issue so that believe it or not is the end of stage 81 So stage 82, which is the last stage in this pack, we've got another frame here, which is gonna mount the radiator. And we're gonna take these fan motors that we had from last time. Now these have got a little keyhole pattern on, which are gonna match the patterns that you can see here on the mount. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you use because they're both the same, but put this and make sure it's flat in there. Turn it upside down. We want to take one of the fans that we got in the last stage and we want it this way up because we're going to be putting the flat side here on top 
of that what we just put down there like that and holding all of this together with one of the small op10 screws that just goes into there holding it in place and as you can see we have now got one of the fans in there and we're going to repeat that with the other side so again take one of the fan motors make sure that's in there like that take one of the fans we want it this way up so that's just going to go over the top like that you can feel it go into that fan motor below then take one of the op10 screws through the center there and then just tighten that up so when that's done that should look like that we then want to take the oil cooler that we just worked on in the last stage and that's just going to go into the tabs that we can just see here and here so when we put this in i'll do this quite slowly actually it's just going to go in like this on one side and the other side and all we're going to do is just push that in it's not screwed in at all but it's going to go in just like that so if i just lay these out that's the radiator part obviously we did the door hinges and then we've got this remarkable windshield with the visors and the deflectors at the side that's all there is to do in that pack so there you go. Now that's pack 10 completed. I happen to know that pack 11 has got the full metal bodywork. So I can't wait for that. There's a, a high level of anticipation for that. But if you want to get this for yourself, once again, I'll put the link for the Agora Models website down the bottom there. You can get this all the way from pack one. But I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.